Hey guys, I'm Siobhan, a third year medical resident. I just want to say thank you so much to all of you who've been subscribing and joining this community. It just blows me away that we're over half a million subscribers now. And to celebrate, I wanted to do something special. I asked you guys and you told me that you wanted to know more about me outside of being a doctor. So here are 20 things that you definitely did not know about me. Some quirks, some funny things, and the very best, um, a big announcement is coming at the very end, so keep watching. Oh, and if you guys love the channel, make sure you hit that notification bell because you'll get to see more content and it really helps me out. Siobhan is an Irish name, but I've actually never been to Ireland. But it is on my bucket list. I was painfully shy as a kid. I actually couldn't even raise my hand in kindergarten. So I did my undergraduate in the US and when I was there, I love to tell people that in Canada, we eat beaver tails. And I love to see their shocked expressions. What I didn't tell them is that beaver tails are actually this delicious dessert and it actually doesn't have any, any beavers in it. <laughs> So I hiked for 12 hours in the Alps. It was an amazing trip, but I did it in capri pants. And that was like the worst mistake. Oh my gosh, I got horrible burns. I'd never had anything like it. The trip home on the plane was awful. I couldn't sleep, I couldn't touch my legs. Oh my gosh, just thinking about it. And of course, that was actually six months ago. I still have those tans right now. It still hasn't gone away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> In high school, I got an industrial ear piercing. It was on this side and it looked like this. Oh man, I loved it. I felt so cool. I like eating raw mushrooms. I have a feeling this one's gonna be kind of controversial. I'm gonna look down in the comments. <laughs> I tried cheese for the first time when I was 27. <laughs> I know that sounds really weird. Okay, I'm actually not a picky eater. I was allergic to dairy products, had anaphylactic reactions as a child. So. I grew up with EpiPens, carrying them around everywhere with me. And then as an adult, I got retested and it turns out I'd grown out of the allergy, which is a really rare thing to happen. So always get tested, don't do this by yourself. Um, in any case, so then everyone had told me how amazing cheese was and all my friends told me that they were so sad that I couldn't eat cheese. So I was super excited to try it. But honestly, it tastes kind of weird. Like I am really not used to it and I don't really like it. So I'm still working on it. Uh, people are disappointed in me. <laughs> um, I still like my fake uh, soy cheese better, but anyway. <laughs> I've never had a brain freeze from drinking something cold. Like I always see people do it, they drink and then they go like this, Oh, but I don't get it. That's never happened to me. So I hiked Mount Olympus in Greece and before you could actually descend, it got dark faster than we expected. Um, and we tried to walk down like with our flashlights from our phones, but then our phones died. And so at this point it was completely dark. We ended up sleeping on the side of the mountain, no tent, completely unprepared. And I don't even have pictures to prove it because our phone was dead. Oh man, but it all turned out fine. It was actually a great adventure, uh, but pretty crazy. <laughs> My all-time favorite movie is The Sound of Music. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Could you guys have guessed that? I love it so much. Have you guys ever realized that you're saying a word wrong your entire life? Well, when I was just recently preparing for interviews, I realized that I was saying opportunity. Opportunity. Yeah, opportunity rather than opportunity. Anyway, I had to practice it over and over so many times to get that out of my system, but I still say it by accident. I just, where did I get that? I have no idea. Opportunity. <laughs> Thai food is my favorite like real food, but popcorn, that may be my ultimate, well, at least my favorite junk food. <laughs> I was born and raised in Canada. One of the best trips I've ever been on with my family was hiking across Spain, all the way across Spain on something called the Camino de Santiago with our backpacks on. It was such an adventure. My idol growing up was a Russian violinist called David Oystra. Probably not what most girls would tell you, but I just, I love his playing so much and I just wanted to be just like him. 
I cannot whistle. I've tried so much. Okay, I can do one note, maybe, sometimes. But like only that note. <laughs> And I really wish I could whistle, like my, my um, grandfather can whistle violin concertos. That's far out of my league. I got a shoulder injury from the violin. So you can imagine when you're playing the violin, your shoulder's like in this position all day. And uh, at one point I could only move my arm about this much without it being extremely painful. So I developed this like impingement syndrome and then I ended up working with a kinesiologist, a personal trainer, who got me to strengthen my back and then got my whole shoulder in the right uh, configuration. All the muscles were firing appropriately. And <laughs> now I can move my arms and I'm so grateful that I was able to get that sorted out. I've only ever cut my hair above my shoulders once and I had enough hair to be able to donate to the Cancer Society to make a wig. In university, I was able to take a yoga course for credit. Um, Indiana University was the best. Go Hoosiers! Okay, for the big announcement, I actually got married. <laughs> um, so many huge things have happened this year. Getting to the rheumatology program, now getting married. Mark and I are extremely happy and it's awesome to be able to share this with you guys. So thank you guys so much for making this community possible. I love reading your comments, seeing you guys supporting each other down below in the comments. And I just, I cannot wait for the future. And actually, I would love to hear what kind of content are you excited about? Uh, things like the day in the life videos, interviews with patients, or the new case studies that I've been starting to make. Let me know in the comments below, set your notification bells, your subscriptions, all those things that YouTubers say, and otherwise, I can't wait to chat with you in the next video. Bye for now!